you think? Good. Good morning, everybody. It's August 22nd, 2017, Tuesday. We're headed into work and school for the day. We had a storm last night that ripped through. And I don't didn't think it was that crazy, but we got tree branches everywhere. Look at there's a branch over here, Grant, in front of us. Wow! Look at their fence blew down over here. There's more over there. Garbage can. It's garbage night. Look at their fence fell over. Yeah, I know. Wow. Their tree fell. Huh. Wow! That whole fence fell down. Yeah. It's not good that it was a storm on garbage night. Everyone had their garbage cans out. Look at my side, Grant. Look at that. That's a huge branch. Wow. Just, grab, just dropped Grant off to his first before care today and just now. And the kids in there are so cute. There's three boys in there playing football, like just running back and forth. And then there's this little uh, girl. She's she's older than Grant, but there's this girl that's uh, really cute. She's wearing a, a nice long dress. Today's picture day, so they're all dressed up nice. And she uh, she like as I was walking out, Grant was being all shy and bashful, and then she like held up a couple balls, and she's like, "You want to play?" I'm just one like was wondering like, man, if, if life could just stay that simple, like. No problems, no hassles, no bullying. Like, do you want to play? Just want to hang out and just do something fun. <clears throat> so it's kind of cool, but um, I don't know. So I'm headed to work now, and uh, uh, it's getting so big. Where did the time go, guys? Uh, anyone that's been watching this vlog, this vlog's been going for well over a year now. And, you know, Grant was four, maybe three when I started this vlog. That's what the intro video is. Um, you can see how tiny he is in the same car seat. The very same car seat. The camera was probably like here. And you can see how much bigger he's gotten in his car seat since then. But, uh... <clears throat> I don't know, I just, he's such a sweetheart, love him. <sighs> so I got some work that I gotta complete like first thing in the morning. Uh, basically just running some cables to uh, for some switch connections. Uh, what else is going on? Not a whole lot, I gotta get caught up on these vlogs. Last week I didn't do any editing, any rendering, anything like that. Um, I got it down so it's pretty quick and I also got um, Sony Vegas to work again on my laptop so now I can um, I can just like queue up a bunch of days or a couple weeks or whatever and just you know render them overnight again so it's really nice um, so I use Sony Vegas Pro and um, the plugin that I'm talking about is called uh, Vegasaur so, I'm trying to think what else is going on. That's it, guys. Someone uh, pulled out in front of me just there. But uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta read through Grant's welcome packet. There's a bunch of stuff in there. There's something that talks about him getting a special shirt for ten bucks. They have. Uh, they have a theme this year something about mustaches it's like I and then a picture of a mustache you two and then a heart love learning or something like that I mustache you to love you love to learn or something <sighs> teachers like this type of stuff I don't get it but maybe uh, maybe we'll get the kids excited so um, Luke and I were planning on doing some shooting on Thursday, and much needed, so that'll be nice. 
I gotta test out a bunch of stuff. I gotta, once that's done, then I gotta clean a bunch of stuff afterwards. And, um, yeah, so. I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on. Not really. I just, uh, not really looking to shooting all the weddings this year. Uh, I was looking at this BitConnect spreadsheet. So it's called the BitConnect Compounding Machine. It's a special spreadsheet that I came across. Where you type in your starting value, you type in your average interest rate, so like let's say 1%, and um, it tells you basically how fast it grows and at what rate and stuff. So they're saying, um, if I start with a $5,000 loan, excuse me, 1% interest average a day. Um, compounding interest, meaning each day that I can. Well, actually, it would be every single day. I'd reinvest. And <clears throat> what they're saying is after literally six months, I would be making $300 a day in interest. That's uh, that's like a $100,000 salary. If you're making $300 a day, that's a hundred buck, hundred thousand, hundred K. So that's in just six months. Um, and then it just, it, it grows exponentially kind of from there. So I think within a year, it's almost like a million. As long as you keep reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting. So that's kind of my goal, man. That's, that's where I'm at. So, um, I don't know. I might have to rethink this, uh, this, um, other 5k loan. I mean, I want to do it. It's just, it's going to take me longer. It's going to take me like, um, four or five weeks or something like that. So I don't really want to wait that long, but, uh, I don't know. I got to figure something out here. So I'm going to have to figure out how much crypto I have, get a, a more, um, concrete figure in terms of when it will be possible to do another $5,000, $10 loan and kind of go from there. So, um, but yeah, so like six months, that's, that's roughly how long the capital release is for a $5,000 loan. So, <clears throat> And, and the way the way it works is like let's say I do a daily reinvestment for six months at the end of that period I will have um, my, my money would be released back to me and then they're saying that I should be able to get paid um, 300 bucks a day in interest I don't know if that if that's counting re I think that's I think that's also includes reinvesting the 5k after that six months so basically anything that you've invested at that point you just reinvest and reinvest and reinvest and that will just continue to pay out 300 dollars a day average which after one year of making or taking out 300 dollars a day that's 100k um so, I mean, it, it's always possible to, after that amount, take out my 5K. Um, I'd have to see. I don't remember how much is in your account after that six months. And that would give you a, a rough idea of, of, uh, of um, you know, like what, what you're starting with or whatever. So it would probably change after that. But what, what a lot of uh, professionals tell you is, you know, invest in a way that you can remove your your initial investment. So like once you're making money, pull out your initial investment. So if anything happens, it tanks, it goes away, it disappears, it whatever, you have your money back. So that's, that's not a bad idea. Um, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what kind of position I'm in in six months and all that type of stuff. So... Um, I still got bills to pay. I still got shit to do, but, uh, we're going to see, we're going to see, we'll just go from there. But, uh, I'm trying to think what else is happening. I don't know, but, uh, that's something that I want to explore today. I want to look over 
all of my crypto finances and get a no bullshit go no go date for when I can do the next big loan. So stay tuned for more. I'm tired. Just getting out of work for the day and trying to leave as early as I can so I'll, on my days with Grant so I can get him from aftercare. So um just tired, tired. So I printed out um, some of the monthly schedules for the before and after care girl. She's the one that uh, is there in the mornings and evenings or whatever. Um, so the teacher has a copy. I didn't think of giving these guys a copy. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what else is happening. So. Um, found out today about an ICO that I, I remember when it dropped and I was like, eh, what is this shit? But it's called Salt Lending. And it's an ICO, it's backed by, uh, I think it's Ether based, but it's backed by, uh, or you could buy in with either or Bitcoin or you can use like Shapeshift and stuff. Um, so one guy made a comment and it kind of really resonated with me. So he was also talking about living off of BitPay and Bitcoin and essentially, you know, loading a card with Bitcoin and living off of the, uh, the inflation and all that type of stuff of Bitcoin itself. So that's what I was doing for a while there. And it was nice, very nice. Um, I'm right now currently trying to focus on pooling all my crypto to make another loan. Um, so I'm not, I'm no longer do, living off of, uh, big pay and all my payments and stuff. But, um, what this guy mentioned, he mentioned that first. And then he also was talking about, he's setting up his finances, his crypto finances in a way that, uh, in the near future here, he wants to be able to buy a house with crypto. And what he was saying was with this salt lending company is you give them or send them your crypto. Um, once you do that, they, um, they basically issue you a cash loan, which is backed by your crypto, I guess, apparently as collateral. So they control your crypto until you pay off your loan. Um, let's say you can't make that monthly payment for whatever reason, they'll just cash out a little bit of your crypto to cover that month. You don't lose your crypto. Like they don't just take it all or whatever. Um, so when he explained it like that, I was like, holy fuck, this is amazing. So I started looking into it. I found a link. Their website doesn't talk anything about ICO. I found a link to get into like an ICO or pre-ICO or some bullshit. So it said one salt is equal to $12.50, whatever. So I signed up. They uh, approved me or whatever to join their ICO, which is cool. And I was thinking about uh, sending maybe just like one ether their way or something like that. So unfortunately that puts me further behind on my savings plan to get to my next 5k loan. But um, I've been doing pretty well with these ICOs. You know, it's, it, it is hard to stay patient and all that with, with this stuff, especially when you're buying into like something like a pre-ICO. Um, like for Hive, I did like, I bought it in like a pre-sale. So like the actual coin sale, like just finished and it's, and I bought it like two months ago. So it's hard to be patient, um, on some of these things, but, uh, when you can get in on the pre-sales or even just the ICOs themselves, that's, that's where you make a killing in profits. Um, you know, I was kind of turned off for a while there on ICOs. I kind of got burned out with them and stuff. And you know, it, it, uh, BitConnect is is more than enough, more than enough for me. But uh, you know, I was thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, man. Like, um, salt lending. It sounds like um, a legit use or case used for crypto. So. Um, <laughs> You know, like something like BitConnect or any type of BitConnect type service, I see like definitely a value in not only their coin but in their in, in, in 
well, yeah, in their coin or in, in what they have to offer. So it's not just a coin that says they're going to do this, says they're going to do that. They're already doing shit. So, you know, I, I believe that, like, for instance, BitConnect coin is going to grow. It's going to go go up and go get bigger. Um, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, just me talking to people around me, everyone's like, holy fuck, that's a great idea. Like, let's, let's do that. So, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's been interesting. So, and now I'm finding out there's a lot more than BitConnect out there. There's, they're popping up overnight. There's ones with Bitcoin, uh, uh there's probably even some that are backed by, uh, Ether. But, um, this salt lending, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if it can be used as like a tax, um, like a, like a tax, I don't know, I, I'm trying to figure out what, what the point of it is, it, it, it apparently makes it so you don't have to cash out your crypto, you can, um, pony that up, and then someone else gives you a loan or something, so, um, I guess you don't have to pay taxes on that, I don't know how that's gonna work, but anyway, I, I kind of really like the idea, and, you know, one ether now is what, like 300 bucks, so I'd only get, like, I don't know, 25 salt tokens or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, I think I'm going to do it. And, uh, still want to get that goddamn 500 or 5K loan. So I don't, I don't know what to do at this point, guys. Like, do I just take my current 5K loan and just start daily reinvesting and, and, uh, you know, like, that's it, and just take whatever my daily payout for that one loan is, and, and just reinvest that, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do in this situation, so, that looks like a pink and blue Jeep, pretty sure that was, uh, plastic dipped, but, uh, didn't look too bad, so, uh, I don't know, Really wish I would have collected more ether and saved more ether along this uh, journey. You know, it would make uh, make life a lot easier. You know, the numbers that I'm kicking around and making now is great, but damn, if I had a pile of ether that I could drop on all of these different ICOs, holy shit! Like, imagine dropping like five or ten ether on this thing, which would be, you know, a couple grand. It's amazing. So, um, yeah, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm still, I'm still doing all right. It's just, uh, you know, I, I knew all this was going to be huge back in the day and, or back in the day, back when I first started. And I mean, that's why I stuck with it. My buddy, uh, Luke, he got in and out, in and out, in and out, sold the shit, bought more shit, sold the shit, bought more shit. Um, I've been seeing the course and, um, I don't know. It is what it is, but uh, I'm tired. I'm going to cut this short, listen to some tunes, and uh, go pick up my little guy. So stay tuned for more.